Hello, YouTube, friends, again. To another teardown of something very interesting. What we have here uh, is an inverter for controlling a three phase inverter, three of uh, 380 to 400 volts inverter for controlling uh, AC motor, three phase. Uh, this one is capable of 4 kilowatts. Uh, this uh, AC engine, AC reticle engine, uh, and it uh, is possible to deliver from 0 to 100 hertz the frequency. Uh, we are going to see what is inside before I will fix it because it has a problem. Uh, I, I think that is the brick, the IGBT brick inside that is broken and uh, more we will discuss uh, after I open everything which is going to be done now. So what we have here, let's zoom a little bit and focus, please. So we have the plug for the AC, uh, no, that, no, no, sorry, a DC uh, fan, which is a 24 volt 0.31 amps. We are going to take it out. And put it on the side. And we are going to look a little bit what we have here. I think it's perfect. So, uh, sorry about the shaking of the camera. It's because of the, huh, the support, the bracket and everything. So, first, we have the driving unit. This is controlling the entire system. This is communicating to this to tell him what to do as you can see is in this area where we can find these cables this yes focus so we have this and this this is for serial cable so uh, we have the opportunity to connect it to RS4 for 5.5 sorry for 8.5 control system and here so for digital and here for analog 
for example, uh, in one pin, one, two, and three, we can put a potentiometer and uh, use it uh, in an analog style. Here we have the exit for the AC engine, AC motor, sorry, and here is the power in, in. So we have three phase, and here is out. PE, PE, and PE. This is connected to L1, and is connected to the power line. And PE is connected to ground, to the ground of the this uh, to the ground of AC motor. Uh, also, there are uh, similar types like this one that has something like this. Here we have an artificial load. So, sorry, sorry. This is a. Uh, uh, this is for braking. So uh, when uh, um, the energy that is stored in the momentum of the engine. Uh, Instead of going into the IGBT brick, that I will show you uh, in a few seconds, uh, it's going into this one. So, no more uh, blowing the IGBT. But, if this one is not properly connected, or is not, uh, how to say it, uh, you put a bigger resistance or a smaller resistance uh, to this type of uh, inverter, uh, there is a chance to blow the IGBT. Because uh, there is a small part that is going into the IGBT, but uh, the big part of the energy is going here. If you have uh, a bigger resistance, so uh, let's say, uh, for example, this one is a 47 ohms resistance. If you have uh, uh, 100 or more, uh, there is a chance that uh, a small part or sufficient part to go into the IGBT back when uh, the, the AC motor is breaking and to blow the IGBT. So, we use this, but be careful when you choose one. It's uh, better to take uh, from the same uh, producer and to take for the specific model. Okay, let's uh, talk about the inside. Here we have the IGBT brick. Uh, I will leave. Uh, a link, or I mean uh, more links in the description with uh, the type of uh, IGBT that is used here and also uh, a link with uh, a PDF file uh, from the producer that you can see all the pins out and all the data sheets of this, of this unit. So uh, look uh, under the video and you will see uh, everything that you maybe need. Um, so, here we have the IGBT brick, and uh, I don't know if you will see it here, there is a black thing, I don't think you see it, uh, is a rectifier bridge. Um, this IGBT brick inside is working on DC current, so not AC, DC. So it's very easy if you don't have uh, 
written like this on the in and out uh, is a simple way to see where is the power in because always on this kind of inverters that has a IBGBT brick always is entering first in a rectifier bridge and then is going into the uh, let's say uh, it's more or less uh, this is a switching power supply not quite but a little bit <laughs> let's say uh, so first rectifier bridge and then the rest the controller is making all the pulses from 0 to 100 hertz uh, I think I have here the uh, no no I don't have here no usually you have some identification or something like that but it's not the case so in rectifier filter by the way uh, this kind of systems produce a lot of RF, bad RF signal that is going back into the uh, power grid. So uh, usually, you have something like this. So we have in and out. One, two, three. Or we have like this one. Like this. So we have in, one, two, three, out, one, two, three. This is to prevent the bad RF from the inverter to come back into the power grid and to you know, to uh, upset the ham operators or uh, to do some noise, some unwanted noise into the radios or something like that. So um, this is a high capacity. Uh, I think uh, I don't have the spe uh, specification for this one, but uh, I think this one is from 5.5 uh, uh, kilowatts. Uh, inverter. I don't know exactly, but I think. Uh, okay. You have a very big aluminium die cast uh, radiator. Usually, this is connected to ground and is recommended. Because uh, the, the H bridge inside, under uh, the two parts, uh, the, the steel or aluminium plate that is uh, put inside the IGBT brick is not electrically connected to neither of the pins of the uh, IGBT brick. So um, you can connect it directly. Sometimes uh, it happens that when uh, an IGBT brick is almost blown, I, I mean, uh, there was a small uh, <laughs> explosion inside. It rips the, the, the plastic inside. It's connecting one connection maybe the the gate or uh, one exit or one in that is connected to the metal plate from inside from under the uh, IGBD brick and um, it uh, it makes that uh, AC from uh, uh, the variable AC from the engine to come into the housing and then it blows uh, the IGBT but before it blows the IGBT it is destroying this because the exit 
is going back, is bypassing and is going through this back and it blows uh, the fuse first uh, and sometimes uh, not always but depends on uh, the quality of the AC motor it also blows that uh, uh, L1, L2 or L3 uh, coil inside the DC the AC motor sorry so um, this is a very nasty piece of uh, uh, piece of uh, electronic components but <laughs> that is for uh, this specific uh, uh, unit if you have any question please leave a comment below if I made any mistake please feel free to comment below if you have any suggestions please uh, leave a comment below or you just want to say hello or something like that leave a comment below and don't forget when you see this video to give a like and maybe subscribe because there is more to come and um, I think that when I will um, have uh, an AC motor that I am waiting to come uh, and I will be able to test this to see what is happening and what is not happening uh, I will tell you uh, into another video what was the problem and how I fix it so uh, stay tuned and again subscribe and like thank you very much for everything and have a blessed day